Did you know there are six levels of hunger? Find out what they are and how they affect your fasting in today's episode. Welcome to the Chantal Ray Way, the inspirational way to lose weight for life through intermittent fasting. You have to realize, am I truly hungry or do I just have an appetite to eat? Appetite is something you have all the time. Like, even if I'm completely full, um, if you put a piece of cake in front of me, I'd probably be like, mm, that looks kind of good right now. But <laughs> we're sitting here staring at cake because someone's birthday's here and they just brought a huge cake. So we're just sitting here glaring at it today. But anyway, appetite is something you have all the time. It's your just your mental desire for food. And hunger is the true physical need for the body for, for fuel. And that, that true physical hunger... That comes in cycles. And, you know, this is the whole thing that we're trying to get you to be against is you shouldn't be munching and grazing on food all day long. That's exactly what's going to get your your blood sugar to be constantly in a spiked state. Well, there's a big thing, you know, bored eating. I think everybody yes. does. If you, ever, if you ever had like a rainy Saturday at home <laughs> and you know you're going to be home all day, what do you do when you stay home all day on a Saturday and you know you don't have to go anywhere? Just sit there and eat, you know, whether you're watching TV, reading a book, playing with the kids, y'all just going to eat all day and snack. Why? Because first thing we do when we board, it just seems like we should go snack. You know, it's just a mental But somebody who thing. is naturally thin, mm-hmm. um, and Christy is going to be our guest. I'm hoping next week that she'll be on here, but she is someone who is truly naturally thin because if you put something in front of her when she's not hungry, it she just wouldn't do it. It's That's like her the mentality, thought, though. I think the me- her mental makeup is her different. Her mentality is, yeah. if my body is not physically hungry, why would I eat something? Right. And that's where we want to get to. We right. want to get to the place where you actually know what your true hunger levels are. And you, so you need to eat what you truly crave when you're hungry mm-hmm. within reason. But the, I have, I have a new revised hunger scale. And I'm going to put this in the show notes um, for everybody when they want to see what the show notes are. Um, and here's what it is. Num- number zero is hamster hungry. Now, when I say hamster hungry, let me tell you what I mean. We, we had a friend of ours growing up who had a hamster. She got pregnant and had three little tiny babies. She went out of town and forgot to feed the hamster. When she got back into town, the hamster ate the three babies. Well, we definitely need to call CPS <laughs> on that. I, I did not know that. Is that like a common thing with hamsters? Yeah, it is. I, I never knew that. So a hamster actually, when they get to be so hungry, they will eat their own babies. And we're saying getting yourself to that point where you're that hungry sometimes can be, you know, well, yeah, if you're looking at your kids, like, <laughs> looking like a snack. <laughs> Definitely need to go eat a snack. So a zero is hamster hungry. Uh, Number one. one is where I suggest everyone eats, where that is, where your stomach is growling. And then number two is just hungry. So my rule of thumb is I eat two times a day. Sometimes I only eat one time a day. So I wait until my stomach growled. So today, my stomach growled about 10.30 this morning. Then that's when I get really excited because now I'm like, oh my gosh, fat is chiseling off my body yeah, right now. you can feel the I can shift feel in your it. body. I can feel yeah. it. It's like, ooh, my body's getting taking that chisel. So then I actually waited until about 12.30 to eat so I waited another two hours after my stomach growled and it just my body was eating its fat which is great um but I wasn't I wasn't to the point that I was hamster hungry right I was still my Kyle's stomach still I was still at a level one. so he's safe right now right <laughs> um so that's where I suggest that you eat now for my second meal when I eat I ju- I'm okay with just making sure that I'm hungry. So I'm on that level two phase that I'm just hungry. Your your stomach is not going to probably growl again, if you're especially if you're going to eat in that six-hour window. Right. But I could still say, you know what, I am hungry right now. I can eat a little bit of something. Especially if you're fasting. Like my, I think uh, mine's went away when I started fasting. You know, the first meal I would, start, I would get you know, hungry. 
feel the stomach growl. But after I ate that first time, even when I got hungry again, it wasn't like an overpowering Powering urge. Like growl, if I had to yes. do something, they were like, Chris, I need you to go across town for an hour and do mm-hmm. something. Yes. I could have did that perfectly fine and came back and ate. Like it wasn't like I had to eat now before I do anything else for the day. Right. So number three is you're not hungry, not full. If you're not hungry and you're not full, you should never be eating in that window. Yeah, that's the board eating, I think, the last. Right. Uh, number four we is about. satisfied. Number five is very full. And number six is Thanksgiving Day full. So on this hunger scale, you should only be eating when you're a zero or a one for your first meal of the day and then a zero, one, or two for your second meal if you're going to eat it. In my opinion, no one should be eating more than two meals a day. And, and, and like, we got to really stress that it's a mental thing. Like, you notice on the days you're extremely busy, you got to run around, you don't eat a lot, but you don't, you don't feel an energy drop either. You know, you eat, mm-hmm. do your business. Like, I watch, uh, you ever seen the show Naked and Afraid? Oh, yeah. Okay, so those people are eating probably, once they get into the show, you know, maybe a few hundred calories, if that, and they're still doing hard labor, like, all yeah. day, you know, cutting down trees. So it just shows me like I the hate mentality. That show. My husband loves it. Yeah, I got addicted to it. But you got addicted it just shows to it. The, oh. the mentality of a human. Like our bodies are capable, if they're capable of doing that hard work in that in those type of elements, you know, that's hot, they're avoiding things, they're not sleeping much at night, and they're able to go 30 days with eating just a few hundred calories. You know, they're hungry, but they're able to avoid it. So so hunger is more of a mental obstacle that you have to go over. So let's just talk real quick about um, you know, true physical hunger. Um, my, my thing is, is that I believe that people use food as a drug just like they do every other kind of drug. I fully believe that too. Um, and you know, when, when you have head hunger, meaning your stomach isn't physically hungry, it's what we talked about that you know, Saturday board, you know, that is 100% head hunger. The bottom line for me is, is that I feel like people are running to the food because they're they're physically empty. Well, food, yeah, food's advice for everybody. You know, you got stress eating. You know, a lot of people, when they get stressed out, what's the first thing we go do? We go get our favorite snacks or whatever from the store, start eating. Every, seem like every meeting we have with anybody else, it revolves around food. You know, if we're meeting a friend or we got to discuss some type of business, we'll discuss it over lunch or we got to get coffee, we have to get something, you know, to eat, so. Well, my thing is, is that what I'm trying to do is to get my mind to not even think about food until my stomach is growling. So once I know, because that is obsessive a little bit on its own, like, what am I going to eat? Constantly thinking about it. You shouldn't even be thinking about food until you are physically hungry for food. You shouldn't be obsessing about it. My my husband used to joke me, we would literally be done. After church, we would go and get breakfast. We'd have this huge breakfast at the Prince Sand Country Club, and we would have this and that. And we were done, and I was like, hey, so what do you want for lunch today? Right. He's like, it's 1030, and we just finished breakfast, and you're thinking about lunch? <laughs> so that's not the point, all right? <laughs> Have a question you need answered? Send us an email to questions at chantelrayway.com.